Hi everyone, this is Nyla from The Packaging Lab, and today I want to tell you about how to make a white layer or add a fifth color to your design. Here at The Packaging Lab, one of the reasons why we would add a white layer to our files would be if we're printing on clear film or if we're printing on metalized film. Our inks are not completely opaque and therefore if we print without a white layer on a clear film, it will be transparent. Same with if we print inks on metalized film, it'll look metallic. Sometimes you might want that and sometimes you might not. So if you don't want that, uh, I can show you right now how we're gonna go ahead and put a white layer behind all of our artwork so that the inks, when they lay down the four colors, CMYK, they will appear to be more opaque than without the white layer. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go to our swatches palette and we're gonna create a new swatch and we're gonna label it premium white. This is important because our press recognizes premium white and will know that anything designated as premium white will print white. So it's very important. We're gonna make that a spot color and because we're printing digitally in four color process, we're going to pick CMYK. And we are going to make this 100% magenta. Now you can make it whatever color you want. I use magenta, most people use magenta just because it's a bright color, easy to spot, and then we'll know wherever we see magenta that that's supposed to print white. Click OK. And now we've added that over here into our swatch palette for premium white. Next thing we're gonna do, go to our layers palette and create a new layer. We're gonna name that premium white as well, just for continuity's sake, it doesn't really matter at, right here what it's actually called. What does matter though is that, that this layer is up at the top. That needs to be the first layer in your file. No matter how many layers you have down here, it doesn't matter, a premium white needs to be at the top. That's gonna tell the press to uh, lay that color down first. So that layer needs to be up here. Now that we're in the premium white, we're actually going to create the white layer. Now, depending on what your design is, you may have white and you just wanna isolate this one little area, maybe like this, where we have the packaging lab in white and the rest of this to be transparent. Or you may want this whole thing to be white or you may want this part to be a window, which in this case is what we did. Um, but for the purposes of showing you how to do this, I'm going to show you just lay down a one big rectangle of white, which is actually the most common thing that we do is just one big layer of white behind all of the artwork that's in the file. And as you can see, it's filled with our 100% magenta, which we know is going to be premium white. Now the most important thing about this is now we need to go to our attributes palette and you need to click overprint fill right here. That is telling the press in your file that this layer needs to go first and then everything else CMYK needs to print after that. And as you can see, if I turn that off, our artwork is still there and everything is fine. But when you go ahead and save your file, it's going to look like this, um, so it doesn't look like what it's gonna print like. However, you will have a white layer behind your artwork in your file. So that is how to make a white layer in Illustrator. 